right so just continue on that is uh, the area of the rectangle and I'm taking away the area beneath the red curve there which is the integral between 0 and log e of 2 of that function which is e to the x minus 1 and then dx okay nearly there so that is log e of 2 minus now the integral of e to the x is just going to be e to the x integral of 1 is just x and then that's between log e of 2 and 0 so that is log e of 2 minus we've got e to the log e of 2 take away log e of 2 and then minus e to the 0 take away 0 might even put a bigger set of brackets around that just to make it very clear that it's all being minus so that's equal to log e of 2 minus now e to the log e of 2 is just 2 minus log e of 2 and then minus e to the 0 which is just 1 and so collecting all of the like terms there together we end up with now log e of 2 minus minus log e of 2 is 2 log e of 2 which you might choose to write as log e of 4 if you wanted to and then I've got minus 2 minus well I'll do this 2 minus 1 is just 1 and so it's going to end up with a minus 1 on the end there and again that's measured in square units so I think that that is a pretty full-on sort of a question and you know there's a few key steps to it so the first was you know to recognize that we couldn't easily do the antiderivative of a log function and so we had to use the inverse because we know that the areas would be equivalent um, then it was to find the area of the rectangle and the area under the curve and then subtract the area under the curve from the rectangle just leaving this part here that we were actually interested in um, now as I said the book will step you through that one bit at a time but that's um, that's how we can do a question like this without needing to use the calculator Anyway, that's all for this particular exercise. I'll leave it there and we'll see you next time.